other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Lattimore, he's a highly competent cornerback. You know, for a defender, he's got great hands. So if a pass strays too close, you know he can come up with an interception. It should be one heck of a matchup. It'll be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. No, we'll take the ball. Why not? The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Ryan kicks it, and we are underway. Harris took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Saints offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. gets past the line and... Hey, welcome to the stream. ...on the play. How is it time for football already? It is, Crow. It is. Oh, Breeze with the bad pass. Incomplete. Davis knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. Let's flip this. He is supposed to play. Third down, one man back. Oh my god, Thomas with the drop. Are you kidding me? Thomas tried to snag that one across the middle, but it was wide open. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. Not a good start. What are you up to, Crow? Thomas lines up to punt after the three and out. What's up, depressed Steelers fan? And pummels I was just screwing with you the other Lincoln night, by the way. The deep punt at the 26. Stopped at the 31. Raymond I was screwing with you. I actually, I can't. I will remod you, but I, I was, I was, uh, I was just messing with you. I can't do it right now because I'm, I can't do it from this program. Tomorrow is football. At the 31-yard line, Logan goes in motion. You never came back. I put you to timeout for a few minutes. Just I was being funny. Davis rushes him behind the line at the 28. Davis was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered. Who the Eagles play again? I, I can't remember who the Eagles play. I think they should win. I was looking at the schedule earlier. Agreed, Dan. They they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Brady. Oh, he's gone. God damn it. It's caught at the 48. 25, 15. He's Damn, Brady. The this year has been awful for a lot of people. I know it's been extra awful for you. Um, my oh God, that guy could not jump. Going after making the catch right here. And now he's off for yeah, that's why I'm doing this game. Who well, they play, they play the football team. Makes the catch. Not a player who typically has a TD on his stats, but he's able to run it in after making the completion. Oh, Tom freaking Brady game. just Brady me. Suddenly break loose on you and light things up. Here's the extra point, the extra point and good. it's good. Yeah, I looked at the games. I thought this would be the best one, so that's why I'm doing this one. There's the signal, and we're ready. Ryan rockets this Yeah, one. you guys should win that. What's up, Dustin? Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. And Michael and Thomas dropping a wide open pass over the middle. Harris we have to punt, then Tom Brady. While it may have been a little Brady's me. He gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. 
You hope my uh, Miami wins in the um, beat the Pats, the Pats. Fan base freaks. I, I always like when the Steelers Saints lose because their fan bra base drive, always freaks. And we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Oh, batted down. Dang it. Evans makes a play on this and forces Chiefs did whoop the Texans. Watson had no help at all. You're right on that. Better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. I don't know what to make of this defense that they're running. Try to do a screen. No good. Man, I'm looking rough with... Uh, was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. I'll bat it down at the line. Good Lord. To be honest, I have absolutely zero idea of what to expect from the Browns. I seriously have no idea. I'm, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we got rolled by the Ravens. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns actually played good and win. I don't know. Mickens fields it at the 20. Jukes. And honestly, I just hope they look decent. I hope they don't get, like, destroyed. But I don't know. I don't feel good because uh, um, it really sucks to have a new coach in this year of all the years because we had less practice this year. You know, you're in a whole new coaching staff's coming in. You don't have as much practice. The Browns have talent, though. My hope is and and I really think like Freddie Kitchens might have been the worst coach I've ever seen in my life and I'm hoping just a good coach will have these players playing well but I I honestly I don't know uh it's it's Kevin Stefanski he was the offensive coordinator for the Vikings last year in theory oh I got Brady in theory his offense is perfect for Baker Mayfield, you're gonna they're gonna run a lot of two, and Nick Chubb to be honest and Kareem Hunt and run a lot of two uh, tight end sets. Got a fullback now. We didn't have a full fullback last year. We're gonna run the ball first. The Browns are gonna be a running team first and then play action. The Saints are going to try and capitalize on the There we go, Camara. What's up, Steve Smith? Number 41 lowers his shoulder and just I think if the Browns stick with the run the tomorrow, defense. they got a chance. But I mean, I think we're going to have to outscore the Ravens. I, I don't, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I know. They're like, hey, banging guys' heads is our job. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. That's that's why I say my prediction for the Browns is the Browns are either going to go 10 and six or six and ten. There's not going to be any, any. It's going to be one of those two. But I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's so weird without having preseason or anything. I have no clue. But he is in his element standing tall behind his defenders. Number 41 carries this off his left tackle. Just doing some lesson planning. How's the little one doing? Oh, that was dangerous pass there. The Browns don't have a reason, but they're the Browns, Steve. So they, they don't have a reason, but they're the Browns. Well, I don't see anybody get past the Chiefs, honestly. I think the Chiefs are a fantastic team. They're, they're, they're 
the reason they won the Super Bowl. They're amazing. Number 41 gets the call on second down and chews up about four on the play. Yeah, that, that would be – that's the only thing going for Cleveland, like, right now is, like, if there's ever a year – where the Browns would win, it would be this year where the where it would be like no fans are allowed to the Super Bowl. You know, it would be like the weirdest Super Bowl ever. That would be the year the Browns win a Super Bowl. Oh crap. Nobody open. She just went to bed, but it was a wide awake for the longest while. Oh, Freaking nobody open, or I missed whoever was open. Number three kicks from 36 yards out and puts it straight. Good, but Texans aren't that good on D. Yeah, I know. Browns and Cards Super Bowl. Number three puts in an easy short one. A clean. Who hasn't? Well, actually, how about this? How about Browns and Lions? I don't think the Lions have ever won so Super Bowl. this in the end zone for a touchback. The Buccaneers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. <laughs> Sorry, Steelers fan. You're, uh, um, you're not a, a bot anymore. I got to make you one again. I'll make you one again. Next time I open up, uh, um, Jones sticks close to his blockers here. <laughs> and it pays off. You're going to get kicked by, uh, the Streamlabs bot. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. I unmodded him last time as a joke, and I forgot to redo it. <laughs> Kind of funny though. I kind of like. I know we haven't. Yeah, uh, never been close to one either. The Browns have been close. Had the drive and the fumble. You know what though? Sometimes it's better to not be close. To be honest. Uh, it's more painful when you're close. Oh, sit down, Tommy. Brown does a great job stopping the quarterback cold in the backfield. They lose a couple of yards. Tom took a shot. The feeling of dropping the quarterback that matters. Right, it, it's so important to stop and appreciate the little things, like a flower or a rainbow or All right. a, a, All right. a tortured face on a quarterback for crying out loud. Be Cameron Jordan here and try to get. That's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make Good Lord, he got that. All of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Miller snags the missile and and he stopped right there. Ah, he playing against Tom Brady. Brady gets all of his arm into this pass, and this one is incomplete. Number 87 had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. It's a good mm, call. Up up. Number 87. Number 87 has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. 
He says, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Pretty to Gronk. The defense should be shaking their heads. That was little atonement for dropping the ball the last time it was thrown his way, Peter. He definitely made sure that he held on to that one. Yeah, much better focus that time around. First down, two wide outs on the field. Jones will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Jenkins targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Evans catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Tom Brady threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Brady just yes. this one, and it's not I think I held him to a field goal. Incomplete. Tom Brady Thank God. It was a risky pass into double coverage, but incomplete. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. YouTube TV has all the games on tomorrow. That's cool. I have YouTube TV. Oh, he missed it. Yard attempt and and he misses this one to the right. Ryan lost a kick here that's not a shorty, but is you are a cap kit for an oh, SNS. It's screwed up. You're going to be buying an SNS in Genesis. Really it's, not, it's not hard to do. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> if he's not careful, a new jersey. The Saints could take the lead before halftime as their offense ooh, will start ooh, ooh. at their 35 yard line. God, nobody's open. Barrett nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he zeroes in on the target. Ouch. Oh, he sacked him way back there. Great play. The defensive design worked flawlessly. Don't like this defense. Spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. There we go. Past the markers for have to, uh, you have to pay for the pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're doing the one week. I saw that. Um, what a play by Drew Brees. Look at this. This was this was an amazing play by me, but Drew Brees. I had to step up in the pocket because that dude was coming in on me. I want to make sure I didn't go past the line of scrimmage. Design play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, one man back. Breeze goes it to the left oh, come side. On. It is not real in incomplete. Arr. 41. Had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Oh God! No one in front of them. That was they told I. 44. I misread the defense there. This game is pretty freaking great. Barrett shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. You will have right, to watch the game. And, and oh. With his first interception of the game. Uh, like you that. can. I'm sure you can find a stream, Derek. Some separation before half, and we'll start this drive. Yes, they were both on uh, 2K5 with the original roster. That's how old they are. They're both on it. God, I can't believe I threw that interception. That was really bad by me. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Boy, Brady's got a lot of people dropping. Evans went for the mid-range completion on that one, but didn't get it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that. That would have been a tough catch. My God, they didn't block me, and I still didn't get to him. Ooh, they could have called me for interference there. 
Jenkins did a beautiful job on that last play cover. How old are you, Steve? That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. I got lucky a there. Call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Bradley gets the ball and punts it away. Harris deals the punt at the 12. Pushed out at the 14. Harris didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Saints' offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 14-yard line. Breeze makes the pass, and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Second down and less than a yard. Number 41 cruises out to the left side and picks up the first down. Ooh, this is kind of neat little. Uh... Breeze goes into the left side. Oh, they had played that good. And dropped incomplete. You're 43. 41. Went for the mid-range completion on that one, but didn't get it. That's the third Molder. incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Second down from the shotgun. Mm. We're going to take a timeout after that. Their first timeout. One of the worst professional sports we're gonna ever been in. We were there for WrestleMania a few years ago. Good God, that for whatever reason that does not surprise me. Oh come on, Drew Brees! Incomplete. Dean closed in from the zone and forced the incomplete. It's a concrete pile with a pop yards, bottle Peter, top. The defense was on top of it and shut it down. Oh, Good denial Drew, there. Drew Brees is kind of off. Second down, 10 yards to go. <laughs> Dean hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. What happened to my Browns? They haven't played yet. Oh, I'm, I'm just playing some other teams that uh, my team's cheating apparently. Continues My God. The Buccaneers are one guy short on the line, but it turns I can't, out they don't can't get anything going. Third down, coming up on the tenth play of the drive. Sanders has this one fly yeah. off his fingertips incomplete. Fourth down coming. There were lines in the men's room Sanders and when you uh, went in, it was like in, the it was just off your elementary fingers. school Peter with a fountain. Down situation. It was just gross. Successful at all with the pass. This play yeah, I'm just playing some different teams, Mr. K. I just did a whole season with my Browns and I lost in the Super Bowl. Actually, let me rephrase that. I got destroyed in the Super Bowl by the Packers and I was not happy. Mickens gets it at the 28. Drag down at the 35. Ray Mickens. And I did do the I did do the Browns Ravens uh, preview game. Pretty much goes unanswered. The Buccaneers offense takes the field with the clock at 24. He can have that all day long. Your chicken wings are thawed and ready to be fired up and sauce. Yo, you're ready for tomorrow. It's awesome. It'll be over at uh, it'll be over at noon. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, 
Brady throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a Fake yard. Fake No way, Derek. That'll do it for the first Not in that situation. Up seven to three. I'm trying to win. I'm playing like crap. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol. Really, the Buccaneers aren't playing good either, so that's good because they have one play. That's been good. It's been an ugly first half by both teams. Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN yeah. Show. I'm 97 Berman. total yards. time stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Buccaneers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Watson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 72-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers strike first and go up by seven. Buccaneers midway through the first, ball at their own 33. Williams was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Saint towards the end of the first quarter. Saints losing by seven. Number three would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. They climb back into the game, now down by four. Buccaneers later in the second. Tom Brady would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Bucks winning seven to three. Barrett shows some great awareness here as he gets himself in God, position. I got fooled on that play. Saint late into the second quarter. The ball at their own 25. Smith is going to run a great route here. Have a look as he creates some space and is able to bring this in. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints are down, but still in it. Seven to three. Uh, we don't need to see who the player of the half was. There was no really standout players. It's probably Tom Brady. And we're ready. Number three kicks it off to begin the second half. Jones catches it back at the six. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Well, Peterson. You know what? I need to see that hit again in slow motion. We're going to watch this hit because this was brutal. He stands over him and points. Interesting information. I like the, the big screen. hits. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of action in this one overall, but even though they're in good shape, a single score can turn it around. They have to stay focused here. The Buccaneers have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Goodwin goes in motion. Brady rifles it out. Left Damn it! I was all over him too. Goodwin has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. I can hate Tom Brady. Slow start, but he's finally got a completion. And maybe now, Peter, he has time to make his mark on the game. Well, where was he in the first half, Dan? Because I, I didn't notice him on the field at all. Tom Brady is so annoying. Sit down, Tom. Jackson back at the 34. Brown all down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage in a lot of momentum there. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Green 22. Green 22. Jones loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Davis targeted the ball carrier early, but didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down, one man back. Jones. Oh, they hit me with the shovel pass. They almost got that. That was a good play. Stop at the 40. Davis was in on the That was actually a really good call for the defense I had run. Shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Bradley gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Harris fields the deep punt at the 14. Brought down at the 27. Harris returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Saints offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. 
We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 27. Sanders must be wondering if he's in the twilight zone, Dan. There was absolutely no one there to cover him. It doesn't get much easier than that. Yep, the D must have called the wrong formation, I think. That was a blown play all the way. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Take Number the four three. yards. Dodges this one way outright and gets past the line. Sanders makes the nice catch and that's good. Take the quick the out. They're playing so far off that guy over there. Camara should be good for one. Number 41 goes right up the middle and pays the price for the first down. Number 41 took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Number 41 picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Gray, 62! Breeze throws a beauty to the right side and the ball he's gone the Boom. And he's in I had to throw that right at the right time if I would have waited even a, a split second longer the safety would have made it over you got to throw that right in the right window Thomas answers this like when they're in a zone like like that's the only and for whatever reason the safety took a weird angle Like, like you got to throw it the second he beats the guy right there. Like, you got to start throwing it. Boom. And uh, it's got to hit that window. I don't know what 31 was doing. He took a weird angle. We'll take it. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Oh, we get the high snap. My hold, my holder got it. Michael Thomas making up for the one he dropped over the middle before. Number three kicks this one away. Mickens fields the kickoff at the two. Breaks free. Tackled at the 24. Ray Mickens got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Buccaneers will start this first play of the drive at their own 24-yard line. Number 47 makes Bad a play down. on this and forces the end. Brady's not having the greatest day against me. Knock that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Goodwin goes in motion. Jones carries it for the sixth time and maybe picks up one on the play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Evans didn't haul that one in and it now Brady's having a bad day. It'll be fourth down. Tom Brady winged it into double coverage, but luckily nobody was able to catch it. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want All right, we need some points here to put this game but no one did. away. Now be fourth down. Bradley need a touchdown to put it away. After the three and out. Bradley gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Harris catches it at the 29. I can now get a punt return or anything going. Interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turn the ball over leaps out at me. And you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. Number 41 takes his 10th carry of the game and picks up eight yards on the play. Second down from the eye. And he has advantage controls. I'm not sure if I do. 
I think we might. God, my linemen were so slow. I was trying to wait for him. Number 41. Didn't get very far on that last play. And he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. And boy, that was an excellent job of staying with his man. That time to make a good tackle. Yeah, it looked like the skate drill in practice. You keep the feet moving, zone in, and make the play. Perfectly done. Number 41. Carries it for a third time in a row and converts the third down. Number 41 was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Great Without keeper on Camara. He would have been toast. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble. That guy doesn't first. tackle me there. I'm Number gone. Number tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 54 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Saints with a small lead, 10-7. Let's go coach's pick for the fourth quarter. Let's see what they they want me to run. I like that play. Second down, two receivers to the left. I should have dumped it off. Damn it. At the 43. Antoine Winfield got the sack, but he was totally unblocked. You need to at least lay a hand on someone to slow him down a bit. That'll be his first sack of the game. Let's it go down the right side. Oh, 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 I got lucky to get that in there, but I'll take it. Brought down hard at the 28. It will be first down. Thomas was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed. But right here, height was what they did. Number 41 gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Second down, six yards to go. Number 41 takes it across the line and lowers the beast. For the first. Thanks, Steve. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, Dan. And they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty run to boot. Nice play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Oh, he's gone. Number 41 is at the five and touchdown. Touchdown, sink. That was a nice run. He's keeping that ball. He liked that run. Number 41 delivers a powerhouse stiff arm that really leaves no room for argument. Big play there. You know, if they can't reach you, they can't tackle you. Yep, he was only an arm length away, but... We got to see that again. We got to see a better better angle of that. Man, there was so much great blocking. I probably could have hit the sprint button and outrun this guy, but I had, I had that fully charged up. I'm like, I'm just going to stiff arm him. Get off me. I like this. I like the little, little dance into the end zone. Well, be sitting in the cheap seats, you know, having some nachos, maybe a hot dog, a churro, a Why? bag of chips, maybe, you know, maybe some soda. garlic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, knock it off. He gets the touchdown off. Man, my nice play. long snap sucks. Look at this. This is twice in a row. Look how high the snap is. It was like high and outside. That's the one thing you get in this game you don't get. Like Madden, they're always like great snaps. Like this one, they'll be inside, outside, high, low. Sometimes they'll skip them. Oh, he even got the laces. Look at Like if that was a longer kick, it probably would have messed up. What a player. It's good. 
Yeah, I always love the stiff arm too. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number three kicks it off. Mickens fields it all the way back at the two. Breaks a tackle. Stop at the 20. Ray Mickens got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Buccaneers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Brady uncorks this to the left sideline, and it falls incomplete. Let's mix Brady up a little bit. Let's uh, run some zone on him. You, you got to do a zone every now and then against Brady just to throw him off. He usually picks it apart. Uh, yep, he did. Every once in a while, I'll throw a zone in, but I shouldn't. Finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have Dude, another Georgia look. Tech oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. A beautiful pickup, Peter, and a bit of a collapse by the defense. Um, have you seen the Browns well, punter? Guard, Dan, and by the, time they react, the Browns punter is a beast. First down. first down, three wideouts in the game. The Browns got to have the strongest punter in the league. Oh, Sebastian Janikowski. Oh, shit. Sebastian Janikowski is huge. But you should see the Browns punter. Watch. Go look up the Browns punter and watch, like, look up Browns punter weightlifting. Like, just go go check it out. He's He was a rugby player. And last year in the preseason, it was awesome because that guy would, like, kick off and he'd go down and he'd make the tackle most of the time. And then when they – um when they kind of decided he was going to make the team, they made sure he wasn't doing any more tackles. They're like telling him, hey, man, chill. Don't don't be making the tackle anymore. Brady puts his arm into this one, and they can't connect. Incomplete. He's called the Scottish Hammer, the Browns uh, punter. It's his nickname. Third down, one man back. Sebastian Janikowski had a big leg, and he was he was a big boy, but he wasn't really like super athletic. Look at the Browns punter. Superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incomplete. See, the Browns punter legitimately could play another position. And it will bring up fourth down. Really, on fourth down, they went to the. Um, Shuffle pass with Tom Brady. I know Sebastian Janikowski. He used to play for the Raiders and uh, somebody else. He he had a huge leg. That dude was really, really, really. Uh, um, that dude could hit kicks for miles. Well, they'll start this drive at their 39-yard line. Number 41, bulldozes right of center and chews up about four on the Georgia play. Tech guys like an offensive line guy. Yeah, there's always some kickers that, that kick uh, that are big dudes. I think that's always cool when a big dude's kicking. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Number 41. Let's let this go to the two-minute warning. Form of blocking, but he still I'll have to look up the Georgia Tech guy. Room on that play. It will be third down. Third down. Just a single receiver on the field. Number 41 will get the carry on third down. I think I got the first there. I did. First down, the clock is stopped at 156. The Buccaneers will take Jamie Gillian. Yep, that's, that's him. The Scottish Hammer. Second down with the tight end right. 
Saints, 50 yards. Down. I don't know why I punted there. On the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Drew Brees threw an incomplete pass there. You know, maybe that's lucky since there were two defenders in that zone. Those mid-range passes are not working out for them so far. Peter, what's different in that range? Well, the coverage and their reaction time. The team is beating them to the punch right here. Drew Brees dropping it in the bucket there. their final one. They do run that dumb shuffle play a little bit too much. I should run a play. You see, even Drew Brees has. Uh, um, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this. Look at look at Drew Brees here. Hold on. They even have his scar on his face right there. I think it's funny that they went to that level of detail in this old game. Number 41 has his number called on second down and he stopped. The clock continues to run. Number 41 lowered his shoulder on that play and created some extra yards. Oh, uh, got him over 100. And he's putting together some very nice. 21 for 101. That's a good day. He's got 101 yards on 21 carries. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. He well, he was young in this game, so since he's actually in the game, you know, people He was young when this game came out. Continues to run. Number 41 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always we'll go in victory formation and finish him off. Jimmy Killian. You should, man, some of his highlights are amazing, like his tackles. He, like, form tackled some dudes. It was pretty badass. That dude li literally could play another position. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Saints come out on top 17 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next I was kind of hoping this game would be... Uh, I was hoping the PS4 5 would be backwards compatible with all the games, and like my my PC kind of sucks. I need a new PC, but when I get a new PC, I'll probably play this game on emulator. You can actually emulate the PS2 one at 4K, and it looks pretty good. All right, Dan. Yeah, he's got better hair than me too. Books, as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Saints stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Thomas emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 45-yard touchdown for the Saints. The Saints take their first lead in the game and are now up by three. Ball at the 18. Number 41 would make the first guy miss. Then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. A 17-yard touchdown for the Saints. Bucks back by 10. Tom Brady connected with his man on this one. The Saints have it after a turnover on downs. Sanders is going to try to stretch the field here. He's going to make them pay. I'll probably watch the Browns. Uh, obviously, I'm going to watch the Browns at 1, but I'm probably going to watch this game at 4. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Number 41 is on the field with our Camara. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You transcended the competition today, and you helped your team put this game away. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Well, man, you gotta give the other team some credit. They really came out and played hard today. They made us really work for this win. Let the chips fall where they may. Luckily, we came out the W. I think he hit every cliche there. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.
All right. I got a couple minutes here before I got to go, but I'm thinking I'll do, um, let's see, just for, this is for Corel. Is it at Washington? Is it at, is it at the football team? I can't remember if it's at. You tweeted me the Georgia Tech guy. All right. Let's do Eagles at Washington. Just, I'm going to let them. Let them play each other. Just for like a quarter or something. Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, we're moments away I'll look from it up the kickoff here, in suburban Washington, D.C. Raljean, Maryland. And that's where we've got Dan, Peter, and Susan. As they get set, Eagles, Redskin. Straight ahead. It's at the well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hello, folks. I'm <laughs> Stevens, and greetings from Washington. He's a big dude. I see it. And with me in the booth, as always, my cohort and friend, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, I was looking at the 265 pounder. He's the punter. Nice. Well, that's true, Dan. And if they can you know what? Some people can just punt. This could be a high scoring game. Sims is a superb player. His versatility is what strikes me. He understands the game of football and knows how to make the most of his physical abilities in every situation. On the other side of the ball, nice. he's got another top performer. Scott is a superb player. He's just an all-around talent and a supreme competitor. And a guy like now, I haven't double-checked these rosters games. yet for these well, two right, Peter, teams, but I'm sure they're they're the fairly decent. This is a little more up-to-date roster. What's up, Antonio Wilson? Alright, we'll watch like a quarter of this. We'll see who let's see who's uh who's doing what. I'm not playing here though, I'm letting the computer do it. Gets the signal and we're set. Our defense is beat up, Krell, so it's going to be interesting for the Browns. The Browns' defense kind of banged up. The offense isn't, though. Your team's always hurt. Isn't even, didn't Wentz go down a little bit, too? Yeah, I remember Kath Kathy Ireland as a kicker. I like Kathy Ireland. And they will start at their own 23 yard line. Number 17 goes in motion. I remember that, Steve. Oh, man, he got popped. And that brings up second down. I love just letting the computer play each other. This game looks like you're watching a television broadcast. They did such a good job. I remember when this game came out, we would just put games on the TV and people would come in when you just glance at it from a distance you're like oh who's playing you know get growing tightness or something already yeah you won a Super Bowl recently though you were healthy enough that year Wentz with the dime. Picks up the first down. Do I play NHL games? I mean, occasionally. I'm I'm not I'm not that great at NHL stuff, and I'm not I'm not a big fan of the NHL, but I do like the games. Wentz threw that a little high there to. Davis managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. That had some potential for some yards there, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Uh, BDFM, me too, man. I love this game. 
this might be my favorite game of all time. It's because I love football, and I love this game. Sanders had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that often. No, he's more of a runner than a target out of the backfield. Third down, 10 yards And show games are awkward to play for you because you played hockey, yeah. This is looking accurate for tomorrow already. Really rifles this oh, a little high there on that fourth down pass, on third down pass for uh, Wentz. Looks like uh, the Eagles are going to be forced to punt here. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Johnston lines up for the punt. Johnston takes the snap and punts uh, it Sandeep, I got it on Sims Operation Sports the in the forums. I did make some adjustments myself to the rosters. A, nice a little bit, a little tweak really here and there, but um, mainly it's the one I got off Operation Sports. 100% real, Carson. The Redskins get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Number 23 goes in motion. See, I think what I'm going to do, though, some of the games this year, I'm going to uh, just let the computer play it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, simulate some of these games this way. Yeah, thanks to the guys that work on the rosters. It's a lot of work. I've tried messing with it myself, and it is a lot of work to keep it updated. Um, I could do it. Like, I would like – I think what people need to do, like myself and the other guys that make a rosters, need to find guys that are into the game like me. Like, like say, I'll do the Browns roster. And, like, you do – you know, if you're an Eagles fan, you do the Eagles roster. Just find, like, a guy for each team. And, and I think we can knock out the rosters a lot quicker. Instead, there's only a couple guys that really do these rosters. And I think it should be spread out by all the people that like to do the rosters. You want to see Henry Ruggs, dang, and Carr. NFL tomorrow, guys. Yep. Number five lines up to punt after the three. It is a lot of work, and I—I I mean, I give those guys a lot of respect. There's, there's like two real guys that are keeping it going still. Number eighteen. There were more than that last year. There were some other guys working on some rosters last year that were really good too. Number eighteen returned for a few there, but after that gigantic. I don't think you, you see, you don't. Yeah, you don't need, you don't need to know every team, but you need to know like, like I could be the Browns guy. I'll do the roster for the Browns and. You know, like somebody like you, Crow, could do the Eagles roster. You know, whatever team is your favorite team, you do the roster for. Spread it out over 32 guys. I mean, I could knock out the roster, like the Browns roster. I could, I could get that all accurate in about you know half hour, 45 minutes. Chase down at the 44. First down. Jackson had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort. Jesus, what a pass there by Wentz into triple coverage, but threw a perfect pass. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Oh, yeah, I know. I knew what you meant, bro. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Jackson looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. Clement goes in motion. There's no blocking from the Eagles line on that play, and it gets blown up. <laughs> we used to sit here and watch these games. that were, We used to actually used to bet on who was going to win these games, which is crazy. We're betting on, we're betting on a simulation of a, of, of a game. Wentz threading the needle there. That was a tough pass. 
Am I getting the Xbox Series S or Series X? Definitely not the S. No way in hell. Uh, I will get a digital-only system. Um, X, probably not as well because you can play all those games on a decent PC. And I plan on upgrading my PC here. And I'll just play all the Xbox One X games on my PC. I will be getting PS5, though. And it's not because I think... I think the Xbox Series X is way more powerful than the 5. But they just don't have any exclusives that I can't play on a PC. I'm not, like, trying to say I'm a PlayStation guy or... Or, you know, something like that. It's just because just because PlayStation has the exclusives that I want to play, and you can only play them on the PlayStation. I usually have all the systems. This will probably be the first Xbox plan I'm not getting. Uh, that is, you know, Krell, I wouldn't be surprised if Sony had something like that because I don't know why Sony... Ooh, Eagles with the nice sack of Haskins. I don't know why... Um, Sony couldn't do anything like that. It's it's so funny. I always, it's always hilarious. By the way, when I I listen to VGO and they're always talking about Xbox Games Pass and they, I swear to God, they always forget that you know Sony has PS Now. And Sony could do the same thing if they really wanted. And, and I'll be honest, I'm glad people don't really know about PS Now as much because it'd be bad for my business. But PS Now is better than Games Pass. I'm, I'm sorry it is. The only the only reason Games Pass might be better is because you get the Microsoft exclusives on day one. That's really, that's really the only thing Games Pass has over PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now has like 800 games on it. Like I think there's over 800 games, and Xbox Games Pass has 100. So, I mean, they could easily do the same pricing structure if they wanted to as Microsoft. And the the other thing, a lot of people, I don't know if you listen to my podcast this week, Krell, but uh, a lot of people don't realize the the extra storage for the Xbox is going to be, I'm, I'm hearing over $200. Like, I'm hearing 229 for a one terabyte drive. So when you need extra memory, that's a that's a tough pill to swallow. No, dude, PS Now is amazing. I actually have it. Somebody gifted me it. Somebody gifted me it, and it's it's got over 800 games on it. They wanted me to try it, and it's it's actually pretty awesome. And all the the PS4 games, and the only games you you can't you can download all the games too, just like Games Pass, except for PS3. PS3 games you can't download; you have to stream them. But PS4 games that are on there, you can download them to the system. They just like Games Pass. So a lot of people don't even realize Sony just does a bad job at advertising it. They really do. They do a terrible job at getting the the word out on it. Oh, I had a drop from the Eagles. Now take a look at it, Carl. It's it's actually not bad. And if you're playing on a PS4, um, you can download those games. Now it would kind of suck on a PC because you have to stream all that stuff. Where the Games Pass for PC is definitely better. But but if you're doing it on a PS4, it's actually I think it's it's a better service. Eagles blow that they could have easily down that at the one or two, let it go into the end zone. This is a. Uh, Offensive explosion from both teams here. I love the way this game looks. The Redskins have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20 Come on, Dwayne Haskins, do something. Dwayne Haskins with the throw, but we got we got laundry on the field. Face mask. If if they did have the day one stuff, people would be all. Over. I would hate it though because it would hurt my business. But they they would. But but the thing is, Sony puts out a lot of good day one stuff, and that was a weak call. 
Oh, they call him for a face mask? Okay, face mask. Sims goes in motion. Gibson barrels off his left guard and chews up about four on the play. The only thing about that, though, Carl, I really do think um, because some of the stuff for Microsoft Second is day one, I don't think it's as high a quality as it could be. Besides Forza, Forza is really good quality. Gibson will get the carry on second down. But like I I really I did like Gears of War 5, but I thought it could have been better. Did I hear the latest with the Eagles? Apparently they haven't made any efforts to keep Zach Ertz and he's not happy about it. Might be his last year. He's damn good. Yeah, you should, they should keep him. It's in the forums under NFL 2K5, and then it's you'll see rosters and uh I think this is Street's roster. Will I try? Yeah, I'll try out NBA 2K21 on the PS5. Terry goes in motion. I mean, look at Crackdown 3, for example, Crow. Oh my God, that was Crackdown 3 was the equivalent of like the straight to DVD movie. You know, the straight, the one that didn't go to the theaters. That was terrible. I saw that game selling today at Meyer, brand new for seven dollars and fifty cents. I mean, and, and honestly, I think Halo was going that way too until everybody made fun of it and then Phil was like yeah let's make this better quality I mean look at Battletoads good lord Battletoads was, Battle, I don't care what anybody says Battletoads sucks I hated that game that could have been so much better UK21 is trash, so right. I've actually had quite a lot of people trade it in already. Oh, Carl. Well, that's probably because I didn't. I just I just went ahead and streamed. I'm sorry about the delay. I didn't set it up. I just kind of, I was I was being lazy today. I didn't go to YouTube and uh, set up the, the stream for uh, for quicker chat. Um, my bad. Terry goes in motion. So that's why we got a delay. Is it probably defaulted to the slower? Man, this game is looks so beautiful this way. Battletoads was bad from the beginning for me. I hated every minute of it. They, they don't even have weapons in Battletoads. Like, I don't know. I I really like Battletoads. The old ones. And I just thought it was... I didn't like that they... I didn't like that they basically made it a Saturday morning cartoon. I, I, I don't know. Just, to me, Battletoads always had an edge. Thomas goes in motion... Yeah, sorry, Crow. Next time I'll set up the stream properly. I won't be a lazy ass. And that brings up fourth down. Fourth down in the field goal unit. I wonder if I can change the settings while the stream is going on. I don't think it's the worst game ever. Redskins get on the board. Somebody scored. Yes. Hopkins puts in an easy short one. 
A clean kick, no worries. The field goal puts them in the lead, which is where they wanted to be heading into the locker room. Let's see if they can build on that slight lead in the second half. I hate the R style too. I hate that every game's going like kitty style. You know, I don't know. Everything seems like it's made for kids now. Scott downs this in the end zone for a touchback. I, I think it'll look better, Antonio Wilson, Madden 21, but I don't think it will be any better. The graphics will be better. I can't see the gameplay being any different. Opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 20 yard line. Man, it's taking forever to load up the Carson throws a heater and the ball is caught at the 28. The Eagles take their first time out. First down with a split backfield. I guess I can't change it during stream. Makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Number 32 came in and got a hand on that foot. Yeah, or cartoon or cell shaded. It's, it's basically it's the Fortnite effect. Yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. What was that? That was ugly. Came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they. I thought he stepped over the line of scrimmage. We got a booth challenge here. When we watch this, Dan, let's see if he was past the line when he threw the ball. That was close. Watch as he releases the ball. He lets it go, and I think he's past the line. After I'd overrule this one. The play has been ruled, and the illegal forward pass past the line of scrimmage. Results in loss of down and a five-yard penalty from spot of pass. Third down. Yeah, see, see, the thing is, you know what's funny? I didn't really mind Breath of the Wild because I know the limitations of the Switch. It doesn't bother me as much that Nintendo goes cartoony. I know it feels like I give Nintendo a pass, but, like, I don't know. They're working within limitations. I don't like when things go cartoony when they don't have to. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Oh my! Watch! I gotta replay this. I wanna show. This is actually. This is. I love the physics of this game. Don't know what Carson Wentz was trying to do. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Off the guy's hands once, twice, and off that guy's back. Off his shoulder, off his head, that he almost catches off his head again. A little clipping through his, uh, through him there, but I thought that was great. What's up, delusional? You're about to do a live stream yourself. I'll check it out here soon. I'm only, I think I'm only going to halftime here. I'm getting kind of. I've been streaming for a while. Sorry, Krell. I don't think I'm going to finish this game. Well, well, you know what? I'll just make it up. The Eagles, in the second half, uh, the Eagles are going to score two touchdowns and end up winning 14-3. to three. Defense is going to hold the, um, the Redskins. I mean, sorry, the football team. Smash that like button. Thanks, thanks Del. Uh, everybody go check out Dell's Arcade after this if he's going to do a live stream. Check out Dell's channel. If you like arcade games and uh, learning how they operate and learning how to work on them, uh, check out Dell's Dell's channel. Dell, by the way, I just picked up a um, I just picked up a tumbler today. I'm excited to use it. I should have got one a long time ago. And that'll do it for the first the half of this one. So the that'll do it for the first half. But in the second half, we know that the Eagles are going to win 14-3. to Outrun 2.01 enhanced. Yeah, check out Dell's stream. I'm going to go check out Dell's stream too. 
So, I've been streaming this for a while, so. So what do you think? Do you, should I do should I do streams like that where I just let the computer play each other? I think I think I'm gonna do that from now on because I think it's kind of cool when the computer just plays each other. It looks looks beautiful. All right. <laughs> they are great. I can't wait to. I, I have to. I got so many rusty parts on this one on my turtles that I'm working on. I did not feel like sand and all that stuff. Alright, well, I'm going to shut this down. Thank you, everybody. Hit the like button if you can before you leave, but thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. And I'm going to do more of these streams like this with the computer playing each other, and we can just sit here and talk football. So maybe I'll do that during some of the games sometimes. I'll just sit here and watch the game and let it stream and talk to you guys while I'm watching. But um, I will uh, catch you all guys, catch you guys all later. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it.